good day, good day, good day, everyone. And he starts talking sh about me. But I, there's something like well, about it. maybe maybe he'll come on my show. Maybe we can talk. But like, tell me what I tell me what I got wrong, bro. Mm, that'd be interesting. Like, yeah. You and Glaze? Yeah. Because Glaze has um, Glaze has a hell of a story. Yeah, I reached out to him at one point. We talked about doing something, and then you know, it just kind of fell off. But uh, yeah, he he his uh, his career on the street kind of ended when all this other shit started, like the newer rap stuff oh, with right. you know he was more like the old days with uh run dmc kind of era and all that but but he was really he was a bad guy in the street you know right. legitimate bad guy yeah I've, I've heard i've heard um hey good day good day good day good day hey good day good day good day good day good day y'all thank you for joining me just in case you're joining me for the very first time, I am the real Brian Glaze Gibbs. Hey, hit the like button, subscribe, share, support. I was once the problem, now what I seek to do is I seek to be part of the solution. Hey, listen, I'm gonna get straight to the point, man. You know what? Today, today's the day. Right now, Gerald Prince Miller is officially free. After 32 years, he's officially free. He's no longer, everybody, oh man, he's still incarcerated, he's in Big Sandy. He's no longer in Big Sandy, United States Penitentiary. Gerald Prince Miller is officially free. So once again, like I said right now is, man, like look, everybody can say what they wanna say, everybody can think what they wanna think, but guess what? He's free. He's free to do and say what he want to say. He's able to, put everything out in perspective but once again you sit back and think about at 62 years old what the hell is he going to do to me like right now is after 32 years of doing hard time guess what i will want to get out get myself together you know spend quality time with the family those that's still around and like live my life that's what i would want to do all that other nonsense and all that other bs or whatever I wouldn't have time for it, man. So like I tell you, man, welcome home. Welcome home, Gerald Prince Miller, 32 years later. Like I tell you, regardless what anybody say, you know what, he's free. And I can remember, what's that, what's that song go? Free at last, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. He's free. So right now, Wiz, he can get with Nas. He can even get with 50 Cent. Everybody keeps saying, oh man, 50 Cent, he's not gonna deal with 50 Cent. Why wouldn't he deal with 50 Cent? At 50 Cent, make that man an offer that he cannot refuse. Why wouldn't he take it? It don't have nothing to do with, you know, oh, that's Prince, that's Prem Nephew. Hey, Prem and Prince is two totally different individuals. And guess what? They got their own setup. They got their own way of thinking. They got their own way of doing business. Like I tell you, if 50 come with a bag, a baggy bag, I don't see how uh, he make Prince an offer that he cannot refuse to do his whole story from beginning to end. Guess what? I don't see how, like I say, he can refuse that under any circumstance. That man is not going to put his pride in the way when it's not necessary, you know? Oh man, it's your boy S5 Fever from South Philly with a glaze story for you, man. Yo, way back, we used to go to Harlem to get our work. Yo, this was way back, though. One night it was on a Wednesday, and Wednesday's nights was an amateur night at the Apollo. So after handling business, we go to Willie Burgers, then to the Apollo, just like the movie. On a Wednesday night, 125th Street was like a car show. Shorties everywhere. We was pushing the hoopty with the stash box, dog. We just parked on the back side of the 126 behind the Apollo. We was just sitting in the car smoking chocolate tie. We always caught from 152nd. Mad shorties everywhere, yo. This shit got cold. Windows was cracked. But we hear shit get quiet. We heard a girl say, yo, that's that Brooklyn killer glaze. Everyone started to scatter. Then we see two little motherfuckers, about four or five, walking in front of us. I didn't know that. Glaze. Name all these people were scared of. Yo, you know what happened next? He started to talk to the girls who were scared of him. 
We got the fuck out of there. <laughs> Yo, yo, this Big Shaw from Tonkins. I got a Glaze story. We never actually knew what Glaze looked like. We were way younger. But one time we went to some coming to Tompkins to pick up this girl. We thought he came to kill her. So boom, it's like 87, 88. We little shorties running around. We see this car pull up across the street. It had tipped the windows, but nobody got out. It just sat there. So we on point, right? Seeing what the play is. In about 15 minutes, two more cars pull up on the side of the street. No one gets out. Then a Volvo pulls up between them, driving slow and stops. Then I see this bad shorty walk out the project and get in the Volvo, which had the lights on in the car. It was just one black ass dude with all this jewelry on. Mind you, niggas from the project started to get close to the Volvo trying to see if it's full. Then the car sitting in front of the Volvo, all four doors open up and niggas got out holding hammers. And this real short one had the ooh out. We was like, wow. I see the black face laughing and all three cars pulled off. It was like all that just to pick up some chick. I hate to see them niggas when they on demon time. Just got my copy of Beyond Lucky by Brian Glaze Gibbs. Thank you so much for sending me my personalized autographed copy. I've had the pleasure of knowing you for a long time, so I'm really excited to get to know some of your stories and what made you you and how this redemption came about. I know you're a changed man and I'm looking forward to seeing the whole process of how it happened. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brian. Yes, I love this book so much. I mean, I was a fan of your YouTube channel, but now I'm like a real up close and personal fan. I really love what you have going on here. And not only that, but I too was once lost. And now I'm done. So thank you, Brian, for this autographed copy. I appreciate you. Big day, big day. Went ahead and got my book, Beyond Lucky. BGG, Brian Glaze Gibbs. Signed, autographed copy, means a lot to me. For my brother, day one support, love and prosperity. Right back to you, my boy. My G, my big homie, my brother. Let's get it. Made Media Mafia Magazine exclusive. Mafia Apparel. Making the future in art. Making a difference every day. Still here. Let's get it. Free Meech. Rest in peace, baby blue. Whatever you want to. My name K2, you know what I'm saying, man? Young cat trying to get my life together, man. This right here. A lot of knowledge, man. Strong mind. I appreciate it. Hey, Kelly, what you reading? Oh, man, bro. This is such a good book. Super dope book. 